Okay, just gotta hit a certain angle. I'm pretty sure this is it. Oh my god, what? That was so easy! <laughs> What is up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It's your boy Munch. Today we're actually going to be heading up to Snow Point City for the 7th gym. But I know what you're all thinking. I asked you guys a question last episode to decide who will our 6th team member be. Between two very special ice Pokemon, Aria the Sneasel and Yukina the Frostlass. And to my surprise, you guys actually seem to really like Frostlass. I went through all the comments, at least as far as I'm recording this. There were almost 200 votes and I'll show on screen right now the results. I went through each and every comment and counted up whenever I saw any mention of Weavile, Sneasel, Aria, Yukina, Frostlass, and apparently Lucario, who also got like seven votes. But as you can see, Frostlass was the clear winner by over 12 votes even though Sneasel is one of my favorite Pokemon you guys seem to really want a little bit more variety on the team and I do agree Sneasel slash Weavile are pretty dang popular and I haven't really seen Frostlass in too many playthroughs so I am definitely down I'm a man of my word and so we're gonna be adding Yukina onto the team and even though Bonsai is our starter and obviously it's gonna be on the final party for the Pokemon League it's not exactly gonna be the greatest against the Ice Gym so we'll bring Bonsai back a little bit later and and even though I don't think I'm going to use Lucario for the whole playthrough, I do still want to train it out a bit and at least use it against the Ice Gym. I feel like it might come in handy with those fighting moves. So that is who we're going to be adding onto the team and we're still going to keep training Patchy. I think he'll be pretty handy against the Ice Gym as well. Uh, Lulu just chilling at the back here as we make our way to the snowy north. And I mean even more snowy than before. You guys can see the snowstorm blowing over the screen and if you guys are excited for another gym battle coming up make sure to smash that like button thank you again for all the support on the series so far it seems y'all have really been enjoying this playthrough and i've been loving it too like i'm not gonna lie all the comments definitely make me more excited to like record more for you guys so keep it up munching that like button and uh you know just dropping your comments down below telling me everything about the series i've actually believe it or not been reading like i would say maybe at least 60% of the comments. And yeah, I mean, it's not 100%, but that's like almost impossible if you think about it. Or it would at the very least take a lot more time, but I've been reading most of them, especially the ones that sort of go towards the top. Like I check the comments for every single video. So just know that even if I don't reply, I am most likely reading what you type. So keep it up guys. And uh, I'll keep bringing you more episodes daily. Even though I know some of you would like more episodes, like twice a day or three times a day, like uh, the days of the past where I would do sort of my marathons of the games. I don't know. I feel like the quality kind of makes up for the quantity of episodes. And I've always been a subscriber to that theory that like quality is better than quantity. Plus, if you think about it, even though I'm not uploading as many episodes, the episodes themselves are like double the length of what I used to upload. At least back in the Pokemon X and Y and Omega Ruby days, I think like on average my videos would be like 20 to 30 minutes at the most, whereas now every episode is at least 40 minutes on average, sometimes even reaching almost to 50. So in a way, you're kind of still getting the same amount of content, maybe still a little bit less, but my point is I'm really enjoying like all the work that I've been putting into the editing and stuff. So I hope you guys uh, have been enjoying that as well. Uh, now this very snowy area here actually has a lot of hidden items that we can find as well as hidden trainers I believe right here. We got a little ninja boy, he thought he was sneaky but nope we definitely spotted him. Especially in the daylight, like bro, it's pretty obvious there was something there. If not a hidden item then definitely a ninja boy but come on bro you really... You might notice I've also got Toko back on the team. That was actually maybe the third or fourth most voted. Might have been like tied with Lucario, but a lot of people wanted to see Toko return to the team. And even though I'm not sure if it'll be like on the final party because we've also got Togekiss now, I do really like Toko and I'll keep like kind of swapping those two out as our two flying type options. Right now, there's like a lot of options and there might even still be some Pokemon that we haven't quite encountered yet down in the underground. In fact, I think after we beat this next gym leader, a couple more Pokemon that I have kind of had my eye on or considered will become available. So 
we're gonna be heading down to the underground and I'll show you guys some other cool stuff that you can get down there after we beat the next gym leader. But speak of the snow, here is Snover, who we actually haven't run into yet. Well, I think I did run into one off screen, like I was trying to make the thumbnail and I wanted one in my Pokedex so I could get a nice pose of it. Which is another part of the whole editing process that I've been really enjoying ever since like the Sword and Shield days. I actually go into the Pokedex and if you guys don't know, you can see the different motions of Pokemon, like different animations of them attacking or shouting out in anger or whatever. And that's how I get really cool poses for the thumbnails. I do love that battle background though. Well, not right now, but there you can see what the heck? There's like clouds in the way now, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about the fact that you can see Mount Coronet towering above the region back there. It just looks so awesome, dude. Like again, that's one of my favorite features of this game or just, I don't know. The graphics overall are pretty awesome. I just love how our character burrows down into the snow like that. How do you even see at that point? I feel like you're just pushing your way through, like hoping that eventually you can escape to more shallow ground or less snow, I guess. But all the way up to the north here, you will find a boulder encrusted with ice. Ugh. The word encrusted sounds so gross, dude. Like I can only think of, oh, hey, she's actually hinting at the fact that there might be some hidden items around. And I keep forgetting that we can actually push the analog stick in the right stick, I don't know if I said right or left in the last episode, but it's definitely the right analog stick. You can push it in and switch between the apps a little bit better. But of course, I ain't seeing no hidden item here. Like, what the heck? Is that girl lying? Or maybe just that area specifically don't got nothing. What we do have is a person. What a rare sight. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't get many visitors up here in the snow. And we'll get a spell tag. That's definitely not creepy at all. And that's it. She just turns around. Doesn't even want to talk. The spell tag intensifies ghost moves. It may serve you well. Yeah, I mean, we can definitely give that over to Yukina right now. And that also reminds me, I got to keep checking Glover, our uh, Ambipom for pickup items. Now that Travolta's level 45, I think I'm also going to swap it out for Bonsai, who's fallen a little bit behind. I mean... We're not going to use it likely against the ice gym, but just so it stays up in levels compared to the rest of the team, we'll bring it back on here and take on yet another skia. We feel mother nature through the soles of our feet. Don't you guys have like super thick boots? Like, how do you feel anything in those? I mean, his boots don't look that crazy here, but what? I just realized the skis totally disappeared. <laughs> like in the intro, he still got them on, but then I guess for the battle, he takes them off. That seems a little annoying, dude, having to take those on and off constantly. Like, I'm sure that that can't be an easy process. But then again, I've never gone skiing myself. I think I talked about it last episode. But I've always really wanted to go either skiing or snowboarding. I'm just kind of terrified, honestly, because unlike a skateboard or like surfboard, for example, you can't hop off skis so easily. What do people do when they're like out of control and need to stop? I'm sure there's some technique to it. Like with the snowboard, I think you go on your side and it sort of stops your momentum or at least slows you down if you're super downhill. But I don't know, I'm kind of scared. Uh, I definitely still want to try it someday because I'm a bit of an extreme person. As in, I like trying out extreme things and kind of like facing my fears, which I recently did. The last time I went to Puerto Rico, I actually went mountain biking with my uncle. And speaking of mountain climbing, here we've actually got the TM for rock climb, which is going to be our final hidden move. Or sorry, there's still a waterfall, actually. I don't know why I thought it was the last one. But it is TM 100, so technically it's last on the list. Uh, we're also going to find a TM for hail and another ninja boy over there. But I'm pretty sure there's got to be a hidden item somewhere around here, maybe near these trees. Oh, it's right below us. Okay, so let's put that down and just a little bit further, we will find a calcium. So there's at least one hidden item found. <laughs> I think there's like five in this snowy area, but they're pretty difficult to find. This might be like the hardest place to get all the hidden items in. Bruh, someone's like bumping their EDM upstairs or downstairs. I don't know, but uh, I hope it doesn't affect the recording too badly. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, um, I do like facing my fears and uh, one of those was actually going downhill mountain biking. And when my uncle first invited me, I thought it was going to be in like a nice professional course, you know, 
I wouldn't be too scared because there's going to be so many other people doing it and it feels safe and whatever. But no, it was straight up just a cliff that was built by like random locals that obviously know what they're doing. Like they're all mountain bikers, but still it, uh, yeah, it didn't look very inviting, especially to a newbie. So I was terrified, but I still made it all the way down the hill and almost lost my leg. But you know, that's part of the fun, I guess. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't have that much fun because it was so terrifying. But if it was a more professional course, I think I might just try it again. In this house, uh, this guy, I believe, is actually looking for his TM of rock climb. And uh, we just found it outside, so we're going to give it back to him. Or not. What a good guy. Look at that. I like your honesty. Let me reward you with this. And we'll get ourselves the Icicle Plate, which will power up ice moves. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. Breathed with the ED at the end? Is that proper? I mean, it's gotta be, but I've never heard it spelled like that. I'm no expert, but it looks to be of ancient origin. You don't say. Even it being as old as time when Sinnoh came. I mean, yeah, something like that. I wonder if the plates will actually play any part in the story of Legends Arceus. Like, maybe you actually have to collect them in those games as well, but they actually have a purpose. I mean, they do have a purpose in these games as well. Obviously, they power up the moves of the type of plate that you got. And I think you can also give them to Arceus if you can get yourself an Arceus. But, you know, that's not exactly uh, confirmed yet. I think maybe people have data mined that the Arceus event is in the game, but you can't access it in any legit way without cheating just yet. So we'll have to wait and see. All right, good job, boys. Getting that XP, that's what I like to see. And another skier goes down as I've actually got a list loaded up of all the hidden items in this route. And uh, I'm gonna try to just show you guys exactly where they're at. But wait, we haven't fought this guy yet, have we? Oh wait, we did, what the heck? Okay, there's definitely something by this girl here. Oh my gosh, the snow is so hard to get through, what is this? What? I thought the item was supposed to be right here. It's right under us, apparently. We got a nugget, yes! There's supposed to be more items near these pairs of trees, but I'm pinging and I'm not seeing anything, so maybe it's a different pair of trees? Like, you guys maybe? Ah, there's another item! Right by the hiker's house? I think that's what that house is. So let's ping again and it should be right below us. Just a couple steps, we're gonna find some protein. Who knew we could find such good stuff in the snow? And that's it for me, I give up. I don't even know where to begin looking for the rest of those items. I mean, I had a little list that kind of gives you a vague hint as to where they are, but even still, it's pretty difficult to spot them all, and especially with the dowsing machine, which I've complained enough about, so I'm not gonna bother even talking about it anymore. Achoo! Oh yeah, it's uh, pretty cold up here, dude. I can see you picking up a cold real quick, and uh, apparently there's even more trainers. Oh, come on! You really spot me from all the way over there? What is a Pokemon battle? You never heard of a Pokemon battle, lady? What do we got here? Ace Trainer Olivia. Did not realize that these were considered ace trainers because they've got a totally different getup. And this lady is actually going to have a sea king, which I believe is the first time we've seen that particular fish Pokemon. At least I don't remember having seen it before. And come on, bro. You're really going to live with that little... This is actually pretty good preparation for what's coming up because I believe Candice's Pokemon, like her whole team revolves around the hail. And it's actually a bit of a strategy that I want as well for our Frostlass. As we're finally out of the thickness of the snowstorm and on the Acuity Lakefront. There's really no hidden items here. Oh, we got some not so hidden Galactic Grunts. Standing guard is very important. I'll make this a success and earn myself a Clefairy, bruh. <laughs> I love how being a Grunt, you're like excited to get a Clefairy of all Pokemon. Like, come on. Alright, you know there's got to be some hidden items around here, but we'll probably get them later on. I'm focused on making it to Snow Point, although that shiny Pokeball over there is pretty distracting. It's just an Ultra Ball, though. That was definitely not worth it. And again, these little empty spots of grass, man. I keep thinking there's an item, but nope. Okay, well, no more repels are necessary because we have finally made it to Snow Point City. And yes, I love the music in here too. I think it might actually be the same as the music in the Lost Tower. 
Or at least, uh, very similar. Maybe even better, though. This snowbound town is always freezing cold, but the spirits of the trainers and their Pokémon burn hot and bright, especially the gym leader! That's all you're gonna say? Yeah, that's a nice little crane. I love the atmosphere of this town. The music definitely helps, and I think there might actually be some items to grab here as well. Uh, maybe here on the right side? Oh gosh, okay, the snow's a little too thick. But there is something hidden all the way at the end! We got a Hyper Potion! That should help us out against the gym leader quite a bit. And up here, we chose the perfect outfit for the weather. Oh, okay, she's impressed. And she's gonna give us some more fire type stickers. Nice. Even though we don't really have a fire type on the team, I could put those on Travolta to show the fact that it's got that flamethrower. Hello, hello, do you know a trendy saying? Sheesh. Oh my god, this is the girl. The infamous Medicham for Haunter trade. So this lady is a complete troll. As you guys may know, Haunter evolves into Gengar by trading. But that sneaky little uh, woman will actually have our Haunter holding an Everstone, which is just so annoying, dude. Uh, so Snowpoint Temple up here, we can't quite access yet. In fact, I don't think we're going to be able to access it for quite a while, so let's go uh, hit up the Pokemon Center and heal up before taking on the Snowy Gym. Yo, Glover found a Dawnstone! What the heck? Let's go! Gonna put that in the bag and that's why you carry a Pokemon with pickup with you at all times. Now, one suggestion I've seen a lot from you guys is to bring the same amount of Pokemon as the Gym Leader has to add a little bit of challenge to these Gym Battles. But I think I'm gonna wait until we actually face the Gym Leader herself to do this. Cause here, we've got a whole bunch of Gym Trainers as you can see. How's it going, champ to be? You see those big snowballs? You need to slide on the ice with enough momentum to crush them. Or, you can just glitch your way straight to the Gym Leader, cause apparently that's a big thing in this game. But also kind of a worrying thing, because apparently you can soft lock yourself, as in get stuck in a way that you wouldn't be able to progress anymore. Unless you have autosave turned off, which I recommended at the very beginning of the playthrough. I don't know why autosave is even a thing in Pokemon, like at least I've never used it, but... Yeah, apparently you can get yourself stuck in this gym on accident, so definitely turn off autosave before you do any of these sliding shenanigans with the snowballs. Though I think the first time we slid in there and broke those two in the middle, we already kind of prevented ourselves from getting stuck, so we should be A-OK. -okay. And in fact, we're more than OK because the first Pokemon in here is actually going to be a Pelipper, and of course we've got Travolta, Electric type, so... This little Pelipper's in for a rough time. What is up with the levels though? That thing is 35, are you kidding me? Why are you so low? I hope the gym leader isn't that low level, cause Travolta's at 45, like, this dude's about to smash through all of Candace's Pokemon. Steelix again? Like, I was already over these guys from the last gym, and we've still got more of them? I've just been reminded though, I should probably exchange that low kick for maybe a bit of a stronger fighting move or perhaps even another type of move entirely. Like you guys have been suggesting that I hit up the move relearner back in Pastoria and I do have a couple of heart scales that I found down underground so could definitely pay that man a visit. I think Bonsai can also learn wood hammer that way so maybe I kind of wasted the Giga Drain TM. Uh, but yeah, the puzzle here involves sliding around and crashing into these snowballs and you can actually get yourself stuck right here in this middle section well earlier if we had come here and then slid right and all the snowballs were still there you can potentially get yourself stuck and i guess we can still test that out a little bit later because if we leave and go heal up for example the whole gym puzzle will reset so i'm not going to focus too much on solving this just yet in fact uh, like i said there is a little bit of a glitch you can do and you don't even have to do any of the gym puzzle or even fight any of these trainers but I'm after that juicy experience so we'll take down all these water Pokemon like what is going on they don't even got ice types in this gym bro I'm pretty sure even Lucario can handle the ice types that they do have cause it's a little sneasel and even though it is a little bit higher level than at least that bloat soul previously and also faster I mean unless we get frozen we should be alright 
Okay, that, I thought that was the freeze for a second, but no, just dropped our speed. Now it's time for Aura Sphere! Kamehameha! And you get one shot. I mean, Sneasel is dark and ice type, so it's four times weak to those fighting moves. But still, like, Lulu's at level 34. Pretty low compared to the rest of our squad. And still able to... What the heck? Electivire learning the Thunderbolt. Okay. Boom. Now we have two special electric moves. I might actually end up regretting that. It's always nice to have both physical and special moves in case the enemy's a little bit more physically defensive versus special. But, you know, too late now. So let's slip and slide our way over here and get stuck. Uh, don't think we fought this trainer yet, so let's uh, slide on over. And uh, blizzards and snow point. Wow, that's how you toughened up, man. Here I thought y'all were just uh, doing group sessions at the sauna or the hot springs. Maybe not here in snow point, but in the real world, that's a thing. Like Iceland apparently has this place called the Blue Lagoon. And I've never actually been to Europe at all, but if I ever do go, Iceland is definitely on my list, if not just for those hot springs. To be honest, the only reason I know about it is because the League of Legends World Championship recently happened in Iceland, and I saw a lot of like vlogs of the players going to uh, those springs, and it looked really nice. Like, I was about to say really cool, but it's quite the opposite. Uh, it keeps you warm in the coolness. So we're gonna slide on this way, and... I really want to try to fight that guy, but uh, we're not quite getting to him. In fact, I don't think I even know how to reach him. <laughs> I'm doing more progress solving the puzzle than actually getting to the trainers right now somehow. It's kind of crazy. I'm also going to show you guys the cheap way. I mean, I probably already showed it off in the intro of the video, so I know y'all are looking forward to it. I believe this should be the final trainer though. If not, there's like one more guy up in the corner, but Quagsire, okay. Again, I'm not sure what it's doing in the Ice Gym, but I guess much like the Steel Gym before this, there's a lot of- Oh my goodness, okay, well you still got the Ice Beam, that was kind of scary, but didn't actually do nearly as much damage as I was expecting, so we're just gonna suck that HP away, get ourselves back to full, but yeah, I guess there's not really too many Ice types in this region, just like Steel in the previous gym. I mean, at least I can think of more Ice types from Sinnoh than Steel types. There's Sneasel and Weavile, obviously, Snover and Obama Snow, Swinub and Piloswine, and even Mamoswine now, that's a new thing, but in the original Diamond and Pearl, you couldn't get one until post-game, so I guess we shouldn't really count it. There's like Snowrunt and Glalie, which I guess you also can't get till post-game, so... Alright, that's it. I'm gonna try to glitch my way up here, dude. Apparently, if you just hold diagonal in a certain angle, like, you can just get up these slopes. But, uh, it's not exactly working out for me right now. And maybe I'm not doing the angle right? I don't know. Wait, do we actually just go from the start? Is that how we get to you? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, we can get to this trainer now. You feeling the chill of fatigue? I'm feeling like there's not enough ice types up in here. So prove me wrong! Ace Trainer, Alicia, what you got for us? The Sneezo. Alright. I mean, that's one thing they definitely could have updated in the remake, since all those Pokemon are now available underground. Why not have some of these trainers actually carry some of them on their team? Like, there's Smoochum and Jinx, too. And probably some other Ice type that I'm not thinking about. Like, come on, this girl's got a Tentacruel? How is that at all fitting in an Ice Gym? It's a water poison! And yeah, ice, you know, it's technically just frozen water, but still, ice type in Pokemon, you know, there should be a little bit more separation. I don't know, I'm not gonna get too triggered about it, I just was hoping for a little bit more variety, but I know that most of the trainers in this game have the exact same Pokemon as they did in the original games. In fact, I think all of the trainers have the same Pokemon and the same levels, which also makes no sense considering the EXP share is now a thing. You would think they would have like maybe made them a little bit higher level, but there we go. We cleared the last little snowball out the way, which means now... Oh wait, actually there's still one more. I think we just gotta go from here all the way to the right and then one step down and boom! There's the last snowball cleared out, so we can actually go straight through to... Hey, hey, hey guys, what is this gym leader's name? Come on, I want you to say it out loud right now. K 
can this gym puzzle be any easier? What, were you expecting me to say something else? So that's the legit way to do things, but I still want to test out if I can do the glitch. So I'm actually going to go back and heal up, show you some real magic. Alright, so like I said, we're only going to bring as many Pokemon as Candace has. So basically four, and these are going to be the ones. We got Travolta, Patchy, Yukina, and Lulu, who's only at level 35, but somehow I still feel like he'll be alright. Another thing I'm going to do is actually change the battle style to set, which means that after each Pokemon is taken down, it won't give you the little option to like switch to another Pokemon. So now with those little bonus challenges set up, let's take on the gym leader. Or well, first we got to glitch our way over here. Oh gosh. Okay. I, I actually suck at doing this glitch apparently. Okay. Just got to hit a certain angle. I'm pretty sure this is it. Oh my God. What? That was so easy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, Candice, let's do this. You want to challenge canned ice? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone tough, but I should tell you I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose. Free sucker. Oh, wait, no, she's doing like a fist bump. All right, here we go. Candice, the ice type gym leader. Please don't make any more immature jokes in the comments. I can't handle it. Candice Snover, stand up to the pressure? Probably not. But then again, we do have Lulu leading the charge, who's already shaken in excitement. That just shows how much happiness you gain by simply just battling. Though, I guess it had the Sooth Bell, so yeah, it makes sense. Kamehameha! And it's really gonna get one shot. What? And this is just Lucario. Imagine if we had Travolta with the flamethrower. Like, jeez. All right. Well, so far, so good. One Pokemon down. And coming up next is going to be Sneasel. You know what? Just to prove how easy peasy this game is, we're going to actually nasty plot up right in its face. You know what? That actually kind of works out because it went for Dig, which I don't think is going to one-shot us. And we would have missed our Aura Sphere anyway if we went for it, because I'm pretty sure Sneasel is faster. So uh, it's all on this right here. Can Dig kill our Lucario in one hit? Uh, yes, it can. All right. Uh, I kind of <laughs> underestimated little Sneasel there. Well, uh, at least now things get a little bit more interesting, right? Maybe not interesting, but more fair, I suppose. Anyway, I think... Um, Actually, just gonna go for Thunderbolt, because Sneasel is not exactly the heaviest Pokemon, and Low Kick does damage based on the enemy's weight. And probably should have taught Electivire another fighting move, like I mentioned earlier, but I didn't. So Thunderbolt it is, and we're just barely not gonna finish it. Okay. Well, I'm guessing she's gonna go for a healing item here. Dang, a full restore, yo, Candice! How much they paying you at this gym, girl? Like, okay. She going full out bougie with it. Uh, she is the seventh gym leader, so it's to be expected. But hey, it looks like Blainthrower would have actually been a better option anyway. Completely wipes out Sneasel there. And I'm guessing next up is going to be her ace Pokemon. Or not. The surprise Medicham out of nowhere. What is this? Why do you have a Medicham, lady? That's like her little... What's the word? Not trump card, but uh, ace up her sleeve. Or just wild card. Like basically something unexpected on our team. Which a lot of gym leaders have had in this game actually. Uh, don't really know what that would really counter. I guess rock types technically are super effective against ice. So maybe Metacham is meant to counter rock types. So good thing we don't have Patchy out here right now. Instead we got Travolta with another Thunderbolt. And it's going to one shot now. The crit. And it's not even from the happiness. Okay, I like that actually. Or at least I'm not going to complain because that was just the random, completely luck critical hit there. I'm going to break the ice and bring out my last resort. Oh, now it's her trump card. Here we go. The Obama snow. Yo, I've just realized that the snow has been going on this whole time or the hail. Oh, wait, it's because Snover also has the same ability. But yeah, this thing's going to get obliterated by the flamethrower. <laughs> Grass and ice, not really the best against fire types. So there we go. We gave Lulu a chance. It did all right. But in the end, Travolta absolutely carried 
I must say, I've warmed up to you. I might even admire you a little. Alright, that's enough of the ice puns, Candice. Come on. Wow, you're great. You've earned my respect. I think your focus and will bowled us over totally. That's right, I'm supposed to give you this. Yes, our next badge. Oh my god, bruh. My badges are so crusty right now. We gotta clean those up ASAP. I'll try to remember next episode for sure. That icicle badge I just gave ya. Because you have it, you can use the hidden move rock climb. Oh, and take these too. Stickers, yay! We all love some stickers and TMs! Oh my goodness! So many goodies from Candice. That's Avalanche. The move doubles in power when the user takes damage. Can you imagine what sort of focus you'd need to pull it off? Yeah, you didn't even get to use it once. Cause all your Pokemon got one shot. But I'm still curious, how do people get stuck in this gym? Like, I mean, if I go over here? What the heck? Apparently that's harder to pull off than just glitching your way to Candice. Now that we've defeated the 7th gym leader, a couple of new Pokemon become available in the underground. And whoa, when did it get so dark out here? It actually looks kind of nice. The lighting in the game is so much more spectacular looking when it's like uh, the afternoon. Look at the little lights on the houses and just the shadows from the trees and everything. Okay, that's enough oogling at the shading. Uh, let's go down into the underground. We'll keep it local just so I don't get distracted by the diglet bonus and start digging out of nowhere because there's actually a very special item that I want to get down here and we could have technically gotten it earlier like as soon as you reach the snowy routes, like route 216 or 15, I believe. Uh, but Mr. Mime here is actually one of the mons that'll start appearing now that we've got the seventh badge. But the item that we're looking for specifically is all the way in the top left corner. So we're gonna have to run around this underground for a bit. It gives us a chance though to catch a couple of other Pokemon that we haven't seen before, like Pelipper, who I didn't mean to actually run into, but I don't think Pelipper would have appeared earlier, or at least until after you've gotten the TM for strength. But yeah, we're going deeper. In fact, I might as well just show you guys the map real quick. We gotta get up to the very top left corner hideaway, and that's where you're gonna be able to get another one of the best items in Pokemon, because last episode we actually got the leftovers, which you can find in this big middle cave. And I'll probably show like a little clip of it in case you haven't found it yet. But here we are, very close to that hideaway I've been looking for. And it's going to be another icy cave. Hey, look, it's Snover. I know you can find Sneasel and apparently Swinub down here too. So cute. But what we're really after is this item right here, the Lucky Egg. Now, if you don't know, the Lucky Egg will actually boost the amount of experience that the Pokemon holding it gets, including Pokemon that are just chilling in the back of the party, like gaining XP from the EXP share. And even though I don't really have anybody that I need to train up right now, it is definitely an item worth getting in any playthrough. Like, say you catch, uh, I don't know, let's catch this little swine up, for example. I'm curious what level it's at anyway, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty high up there. And so we don't really need to train it, so the lucky egg, I mean, I would rather that it's later on in the game than super early, because then things are just way too easy. But yeah, it's at level 45, so Pokemon down underground, like, I don't know what's up with it. I feel like they might be a little bit too, uh, crazy. <laughs> we still just absolutely destroy it. My bad, little Swinub. I guess we'll get on out of here then, because we already got the main thing that I was looking for down here. All right, that's enough screwing around down underground. Let's wrap up this episode by heading over to Lake Acuity, where I believe now we should be able to confront Team Galactic. But first, gotta spray those repels, because I ain't trying to run into no more Snovers, no more Sneasels. We had enough of those back at the gym. But yeah, even though this guard earlier was saying that guarding's like the most important thing in the world, they just like stepped aside for a smoke break or something. Not really doing your job there, buddy. Ah! You're not getting away with this, Team Galactic! Oh, are you finished already? <laughs> Yo, again, the lighting just looks so amazing, but like even more amazing is Jupiter's Roast of Berry. Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and become the champion? <laughs> Dream on, kid. 
But, ew, it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Veilstone HQ. Oh, we don't actually have to fight her? Alright, well that saves me some time. Don't I know you? We met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is gonna do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ either. Now if you'll excuse me... Wow. Just leaves Barry embarrassed. Get it? Because it's kind of like his name. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi, it was suffering. And you couldn't do nothing about it. I'm gonna get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to get stronger. Yeah, do the Goku method, bro. Just lock yourself in a empty room for years. Jeez, that actually sounds kind of crazy. Like you'd literally go insane. But that's the hyperbolic chamber, ain't it? Well, I thought we might actually have some kind of battle to do here against Team Galactic, but apparently not. Uh, can we surf here on the lake right now? I mean, I don't see what's stopping us. <laughs> Obviously, we're not going to find the legendary until the post game, but uh, I believe there is actually some items that you can get at each of the lakes. Now that we have surf, we can go on back here to the top right corner and get ourselves TM14 for Blizzard. There might also be a hidden item, but I've been really bad with finding those all episode. Let's fly over to Lake Verity, the very first one. I don't think Lake Valor will be like clear yet. It should be blown up with all those poor Magikarps, so... Can't quite get our special TM there just yet, but we can get the one here at Lake Verity. Man, I just, I can't help but oogling, because honestly the game looks the best when it's like this time of day. I don't know if it's just me or you guys agree, but like, it makes everything feel a hundred times better than usual. But over here we're gonna find TM38 for Fire Blast. And that means, I'm assuming, in Lake Valor we can get the TM for Thunder, because that's kind of like the trifecta, you know? Fire Blast, Blizzard, Thunder. Uh, you know what? We ran out of Repel, so we've run out of time for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and next time we will be taking on Team Galactic at their Veilstone HQ. It's gonna be a crazy one, for sure. So smash like if you're excited, and I'll catch you then.